if the climb doesn't kill me first. Boy. Thankful for these landings. I have to stop at each one, walk over to the hatch, make sure the load that we're hauling up clears the hatch. Once it's cleared, we continue up. That load is just cleared, so I'm headed up to the next level. It's slow and tedious. My bag coming up. Finally, all the gear's up top. Now we're ready to get to work. And here's the guy who's going to show me how it's done. Good. Are you Patrick? I am Patrick. You're the famous blade repairer Jan's been telling me about. I don't know about famous. Yeah. Blade repair. Patrick Murphy started as a climber. Now he's turned a pastime into a profession. These days, he travels all over the world, putting his climbing skills to work on turbines like this. And somewhere down there, there's a crack waiting for us? Yep. I'm heading over. I'll see you down here. Next stop, the turbine blade. OK. Patrick, you ready for this? I'm ready. Line coming at you. Got it. All right, this is where we uh, let go and we go for a ride. Coming in? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Beauty. There we go. Cinch myself up, and we'll go to work. Makes the job fun. Yeah, you know, you got to enjoy yourself somehow. The crack we're working on is about a third of the way down the blade. All right. So this is our crack right here. This is what we're going for. Yeah, look at that. That's all it takes, huh, to be a danger to the whole blade. Yep, so this crack is actually in the bond line where the shells come together. Gotcha. So that's a major structural component of the blade, and we right. want to make sure that the crack doesn't spread. So the only way to do that is to put, basically put a Band-Aid on. Laying up fiberglass isn't that tough, but take a look at where we're doing it. It's the location and the weather that make this a tough fix, and now the wind is howling. There we go, just as an added side note, this is exactly the kind of job that makes our sound guy really happy. Uh, about 200 feet in the air, dangling from a line, in the middle of an extreme windstorm, talking through a mask. <laughs> Strong winds aren't our only problem. A storm seems to be moving in. And if it does, this is the last place you'd want to be. Fully exposed, hanging a long way off the ground. Patrick Murphy isn't going to let a little wind stop us. For him, the turbine job is a go. He shows me how to gently sand away the outer coat. Up here, it takes a cool head and a light touch. Now it's my turn. I got you, so you want to give it a shot? I do. You don't, you're trying not to take away too much material. He's just trying to take off the gel coat, but we don't want to grind too deep down into the fiberglass. Does this look awkward? That's because it is. I'm at the mercy of the wind with nothing to keep me steady and nowhere to plant my feet. Well, the wind is, uh... It's not doing us any favors. It's not doing us any favors at all, man. It's picking up. We're getting heavier by the minute. So I suggest we uh, push on with this, huh? That's exactly right. After we finish sanding, Patrick and I send down a template that's the exact size of the patch we'll need. Ryan cuts out the patch while Patrick starts to brush on the mixture of catalyst and resin that will hold it in place. Now, there's another funky bit to what we're doing right now. Because of the nature of a catalyst and a resin, once we've mixed the two, we're under the gun to get it done, right? Yeah, exactly. It's How hard. long do you have? You got maybe 30 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, maybe five minutes. Try not to drip all over yourself, too. Oh, you're a cameraman. Yeah, you can drip all over me. <laughs> Try not to drip all over the camera. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, oh <laughs> Too late. I got slimed. I totally got slimed. Watching Patrick work, it's clear this is not his first rodeo. He sets the patch, then sands and buffs again in preparation for the finishing touch, the gel coat. As soon as this dries, the blade will be fixed. All right, Patrick, that looks good to me. Well, you're the expert. We good to go? It's good to go. All right, man. Let's get out of here. Turn this thing back on, huh? Sounds good. OK. At last, we're headed back to solid ground. All right. Good work. Oh. Solid work, Patrick. Good job, man. You did a good job up there. Thank you very much. Thank you.
It was great. Yeah. It turned out to be a good lamination, clean patch. Right. I think it'll hold. With the blade patched, the turbine is back in working condition. All that's left to do is fire it up. In Niagara Falls,